Hey guys and welcome to World of Scale. So I really did not <laughs> want to make this video today, but uh, you kept asking and insisting and here we go. So this video is a autoblogging versus Agility Writer showdown and comparison. And those of you who follow my channel know that these two are my favorite one-click copywriting tools. And today I uh, will be primarily focusing on the quality of the content. And I guess for people who like what I do, you also enjoy my honesty and uh, the fact that I'm trying to be as objective as possible. So we will look at the work count to the price and the speed of generation because these modes tend to be very slow, but <laughs> we will look at the plagiarism, readability as measured by Grammarly. We will look at Hemingway. We'll be looking at the paper reader that gives a great. And finally, and that was one of the suggestions by a subscriber, we will try to use GPT-4 as an objective measure of the quality of the content. So we'll be using a very simple prompt to evaluate a, an excerpt from a blog post. So here we go. First things first, uh, the pricing needs to be addressed. I don't want to make this video about the price because it is about the quality of the content, but price is important. And unfortunately, these two tools don't have a comparable pricing. So what I did, I chose the standard plan, which is $99. Uh, for autoblogging, which gives you 150 credits. And I am choosing to compare it with the pro plan, which used to be $89, now it's $88, and you get 120 credits. And for godlike modes, you spend two credits. And for agility rider, if you go to the optimized mode, it costs four to five credits. So depending on the language and other things, so we'll say it's four credits on average. So the pricing is very different. Uh, one article with autoblogging will cost you around $1.30 versus the agility rider costing you free USD. And the higher the plan, the less expensive the credits are going to be, but this is valid for both autoblogging and agility rider. So the comparison modes. Uh, fortunately, both autoblogging and agility rider have introduced the new optimized modes. So in other blogging, this is quick mode, godlike mode. And basically you enter a keyword and everything else is handled by auto blogging, which scans the SERPs, does NLP optimizations. And this is being fact checked as well. And the same goes for the optimized mode. So article is for credits. The only thing to do is to insert your keyword and the rest is history, so to speak. So these are the two modes that we'll be comparing. And I thought long and hard about the keywords and I decided to make it difficult for both. And the keywords in question is Google new AI search engine. So this is something that has just happened. Language is English. We'll be selecting the godlike modes. We'll be adding HTML formatting and the output of Agility Writer is available in HTML as well. We will not be messing around with these things here. So to make the comparison as strict as possible. And let's generate. And while the output is being generated, let's go to Agility Writer. We'll be inserting the same keyword here and we'll hit generate. And one of the differences between the modes is that here you just get the output with auto blogging, but with Agility Writer, there is an interim step when you can reevaluate and assess the outline first before proceeding further. So, okay, after two minutes, we have gotten an outline result from Agility Writer. Even if I see some weird stuff here, which I don't. So the first reference is how Google is improving search with generative AI. The second is Google as generative AI, the new Google search. So these are all relevant. And as you can see, this is very similar to NeuroWriter and Surfer. So basically, Agility Writer just picked the most optimized articles. But even if it messed up, I would just accept it to make again a fair comparison. And yeah, so let's just add it to writing queue. So we'll get a gateway error from auto blogging, but uh, that is to be expected. They even have a disclaimer about that. Let's just see. It's been five minutes and the article has been generated. So very quick. 
In comparison, we are still, Agility Writer is still working on its article. And let's use Markdown formatting as per usual. So first things first, let's go to, so, okay, this is going to be our H1. Okay, so Autoblogging has embedded the video. So this is nice. Let's see if it's working. It is nice, a very nice touch. Let's pre-populate the meta like so. And we got a very high score of 67. So this is very close to the best result. And I actually forgot to uncheck the FAQ. So we just know the result with and without the FAQs first. So it's 67 and 377, 3700 words. So 3779 words. The speed was five minutes, so very fast. SEO score 67, but we might be amending that depending on what's, uh, whether Julius Rider comes with the FAQs or not. Okay. So now let's copy everything once again and go to Grammarly. And the readability is 29. Let's see what the plagiarism is. And plagiarism is, is a very low three. So readability is 29 and plagiarism is three. Okay, good. Let's go to Hemingway. And this is grade 14 poor. Okay. And I'm not judging anything until I see the agility writer's results. Hemingway, grade 14. Let's now go to the paper checker. <laughs> I keep messing up the name. So what did I call it? I called it paper writer. I keep calling it paper writer for some reason, paper checker. So uh, select the education level, let it be college type. Um, book report, thesis article block. And yeah, let's see what happens. And it says the length is too long. Ouch. Hmm. So let's just do the following. Let's just use the first. Mm, let me open up the word counter. Let's see if paper checker can handle 2100. Yes, it can. So 2100. Okay, and the grade is a very high 92A. Nice. 92A. And now for the final test, let's go to GPT-4 and let's see how much we can paste in here. So you're an expert blogger copywriter that also acts as an editor. I want you to evaluate the below excerpt from blog post and rate it from 1 to 10. Explain your decision. Of course, please provide an excerpt. And let's see if we can actually paste the whole thing first. Yes, we can. No, we can't. Okay, what about 2100? Okay, this is 2100. I would give this blog post a score of 7.5 out of 10. Here is my reasoning. Clarity and organization. And uh, while it's still writing, let's note the score. So it's 7.5 out of 10. And I do realize this is still, it's not that it is subjective. I don't think this is subjective at all, but this is a very small sample size. So only one topic and your topic, and this is applicable to both agility writer and auto blogging can be worse or better depending on the niche. So agility writer is ready. And I had to redo the whole thing because I did not include the FAQs which I did in autoblogging and I thought it would be unfair for autoblogging to deduct anything from the initial scores. So this generation took 20 minutes. So four times as long as autoblogging. So let's open up this big boy. FAQs. We don't need any catchy titles. Okay. And the score is 69. So let's double check. The word count is much less than autoblogging, but the SEO score is higher. So let's note that SEO score is 69 and the word count is 2300 exactly. Readability is 28 and plagiarism is 5. So 28 for readability and 5 for plagiarism. 
let's head over to Hemingway and with Hemingway it's graded as grade 15 poor how about the paper checker so this is 94a which is I think the same as autoblogging no it's actually higher 24a and for the final touch let's ask GPT-4 its opinion about the piece and to be fair let's uh, use the same amount of characters so roughly 2100 so the prompt is as follows you're an expert blogger copywriter that acts as an editor i want you to evaluate the below excerpt and rate it okay why didn't it rate it from 1 to 10 i think i had it in the prompt because it's basically the same prompt and it's actually rated it the same 7.5 out of 10 and so as it looks right now they are pretty comparable so the work count on all blogging was much higher but that doesn't mean anything it is cheaper twice as cheap it's uh, taking less time it's less seo optimized lower plagiarism comparable readability on both uh, Grammarly, Hemingway and Paper Check, and even GPT-4 scores it equally. So I guess what's left to do, and I wanted to avoid it, so I was kind of hoping for a clear winner here. So what is left to do is actually open up the output and read it. <laughs> so let's do that together. So okay, key takeaways, Google's mission for universal information accessibility is significantly enhanced with AI technology, joins of AI generates text in search related responses google's launch of search generative experience featuring ai chatbots powered by large language models signifies a growing interest in ai okay google's mission for universal information accessibility role of ai ai's benefits google's commitment to responsible and beneficial ai and now to the actual technology, AI-generated text, limited accessibility of AI-infused search engine for US users, avoidance of controversial topics, acknowledgement of technology, ZDNet's recommendations of testing and researching AI products. Uh, and this is weird so let's read through in today's digital era ai is being utilized in many industries internet a renowned technology news outlet has laid out specific recommendations to be followed while testing and researching ai products and this is this is irrelevant i think to the topic google's launch of search generative experience integration of ai answers limited accessibility and this is kind of this kind of repeats the previous points here. Limited accessibility. Mm. AI chatbots increased public interest in AI features. Google history in improving AI search efforts to bring AI powered features facts. Google's new search engine incorporates generation of AI. The new search engine will be accessible in the US. Google acknowledges that the technology in, is early and will make mistakes. FAQ, what is Google's mission and how does AI fit into it? What is the new AI-infused search engine? What topics will, Google, will Google's new AI-infused search engine avoid? How can I join Google Search Labs? What is ZDNet's approach? This is bullshit. Ooh. Let's compare this now to agility. Okay. And the, the reason is 52 uh, is because I did not copy the title. Because for some reason the raw output of autoblogging does not include the title. So agility. So let's scroll to the FAQs. This is where the article ends. And we have one extra character in for some reason, but the score is still 69, but let's read through. So a nice, oh, you know what? Like it would have been here. Let's see if we can make this happen. So, okay, I was able to create a new window from your writer and basically pasting the two different articles. So this one here is auto blogging and this one is agility writer. 
So here we don't have any intro really. We start with the key takeaways, but I do like the embed feature. With agility, we have the introduction, which is the world search is evolving rapidly. And Google's new AI search engine stands out forefront of innovation. In the blog post, we will explore the revolutionary features that Google Generative AI integration brings. And this is a link. Learn about enhancements to search lab, shopping graphs, and SEO strategies, along with ethical considerations for using AI search. Okay, now key takeaways. Let's compare them. Google's mission, uh, Google's launch, okay. Google's new AI search engine, use the generative AI technology, SEO professionals must adjust their content strategies, SG enhances the user's experience. Well, I be the judge, like I can be subjective, sure, but I like the key takeaways much better here. So less fluff and more just uh, reusable information. Overview. Google has always been at the forefront of using cutting edge technologies. Then, well, the key takeaways are repeated for some reason. Okay, let's delete them. This shouldn't be happening. And the score has actually improved <laughs> to 70. Okay, overview of Google's new AI storage generative AI integration, improved storage experience, enhancements to Google search with AI, supercharging search results. AI generated answers and citations and nice links, shopping assistance, impact on SEO and paid ads. This is very important. Let's see if we had anything about impact on SEO here. Do we have even the word now? Okay, strange. Adjusting strategies for SEO applications for paid advertising. This is very, very important. A responsible approach to AI and search. So this is balance and accuracy, featuring diverse voices, the future of AI and search. Anticipating further advancements. So I can tell you right now, again, I can be and I probably am subjective. Well, based on this information, they are very comparable uh, in terms of the quality. But when you start reading through the actual outputs, it's not even a comparison, guys. Yes, this is a much smaller output, uh, but this is information that really matters. Uh, what is AI generative search? How does it impact SEO and paid advertising? And what is the future of uh, search? These are the three main questions that agility writer answers that auto blogging does not even address. So you would be the judge. I don't want to score them. So let's just say they are both winners. And I will probably make these two outputs available to you as a download. So you can basically take a look and decide for yourselves. That's it. Hopefully this video is helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.